Welcome back guys, Eric's UK here with another games I have played. Um, having just done and uploaded the RPG a day system uh, video a few minutes ago, um, this particular game popped into my head. It's a game I haven't thought about in 15 years, give or take, probably slightly longer, and that is Starship Troopers. It was published by uh, Mongoose Publishing, and it was based, I think, more than anything on the animated cartoon series. Although it was very heavily leaning in the direction of the film as well, the original film, um, with obvious nods towards the book. Now, normally when I talk about these these uh, games I've played, they're normally with a bit of, yay, I really enjoyed it. Starship Troopers was a really odd one that I didn't really get into. Um, I owned the rule book, um, like an equipment book, I think it was. There was a guide to the different sort of bugs um, and maybe something else, a scenario book or whatever. And you basically played... Uh, members of the was it mobile infantry um, and one person had to be like the unit commander the rest of you were grunts but you could choose you know you have a medic in there there could be an engineer you could be a specialist basically and I think there was rules for one of you being like a, 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 a psych a telepath type I can't remember um, exactly um, and I forget the system itself. Um, I only ran the, we ran this over a couple of weeks um, back in the mid OOs um, with a. Uh, I can't even remember who played it now. Uh, I remember um, the chap whose house we played with. He's now migrated off to Australia, so I don't see him anymore. Um, I think it was a couple of his friends and probably my friend Big Dave. I can't really remember. I don't really remember their characters either. I mean, this is kind of how forget forgettable the game was. Um, but one of the things that I remember that I really didn't like, it seemed quite interesting at the time, but it never really worked in hindsight, was that the scenarios were not scenarios as you and I would know them from most role-playing games. Um, essentially, a scenario was a one-page breakdown with a map of a mission that your team was sent on. Um, which reminds me, I think there was a planet book as well, because I think there were a few in there specific too. Um, and it might be something like, um, we've detected a bug nest. Um, it's a maze of passageways guarded by warrior bugs and a few other things. Um, and they are basically using this particular nest to grow um like the big giant bombardier bugs and your team needs to go in there and, and, and wipe them out but because of the position of it you can't just nuke it you've got to actually get in there and so you would have a map of the surrounding area and a map of the the, the tunnels of the, the thing and marked where the bugs were and that was it that was your scenario and then the next scenario might be you need to um, make your way across, you know, the wastelands of Klendathu um, or Zygama Beach to uh, find a stricken convoy that has broken down. It's been attacked by bugs. The vehicle's been smashed. You've got to try and keep them alive long enough for an extraction to arrive or the vehicle to get fixed. And then there'd be like waves of bugs. And the scenarios were not scenarios. They were like a mission breakdown and nothing else and it was really strange um, and we probably played the majority of these just going from one to the other to the other um, and while I'm entirely sure you could probably come up with something I, I did, do remember I tried to have the idea of a scenario set during downtime when they'd come back to Earth on rotation or they were on a space station or something that didn't have anything to do with the war. And it just didn't really work. The entire system, there was nothing really geared to the role-play element. 
there was nothing really geared to an investigation or something like that and I don't know it just seems it, it seems like one of those role playing games that because of the interest at the time in the films the animated series, series and the fact that I think Mongoose had a, a miniature skirmish war game which wasn't much cop to be honest as I recall um, I think we were interested in playing it but it didn't last because it didn't really do anything you know there was no depth I think is perhaps the way to put it Uh, and I think I ended up selling the books off only a couple of months or so after we stopped playing. Um, because really there wasn't any, you know, none of us were particularly interested in it, in carrying it on. Um, and I think sometimes this is a problem with some licensed games. Because um, in fact I remember, I'll do a video about this at some point, but I remember a Men in Black RPG from the late 90s that was quite frankly atrocious and just capitalising uh, <laughs> uh, on the fact that the film would come out a few years earlier and you know just because you can do a thing doesn't mean you should do um, paraphrasing the words of Dr Ian Malcolm there anyway thank you for watching guys if you've ever played um, the Starship Troopers RPG pop comments down below let me know what you thought of it and whether I'm completely wrong um, or what have you. I'd be interested on your thoughts on um, licensed products as well. Do they work very well and do they capture the spirit of the whatever film, TV, series, books um, that they're trying to do, that they're trying to emulate? Right, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up button, please, the like, and hit the subscribe button, please, um, if you enjoyed the channel at least. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next few bits. Take care, guys. Good gaming.